Hello, so today I'm going to be using ArcGIS.com to do some geocoding. This is supposed to be the new way that we can do geocoding with ArcMap. And for those of you who don't know what geocoding exactly is, it is the process of finding associated geographic coordinates like longitude latitude from other geographic data, for example, street addresses. So today what we're going to be using is an Excel spreadsheet that I have here of different businesses in uh, Austin, Texas, in the Austin area, high tech companies. And you can see here the names of the high-tech companies. And we have um, addresses, um, city, and state zip code. And if I just scroll up to the top, you can see that this fits the uh, typical uh, format of an Excel spreadsheet that you need for, for ArcMap. You need to have the top line be the name of each one of your columns and only have one line for names. And then afterwards, each line is going to be an entry uh, within uh, entry of the data set. Okay, so for my first step, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to save this Excel spreadsheet as a comma-separated value or a character-separated value. And this is a type of file that stores tabular data, but it's not in Excel format. It's in this format called CSV, which is a text file. And, and then there's a certain character, like a comma, for example, that's going to separate each one of the entries. So what, if I, what I want to do is I want to go into Excel, and I want to say File, Save As. And here's my geocoding folder, and instead of it being an Excel workbook, I want to switch it over to comma delimited. So you can see here, comma delimited or comma separated value CSV file. The reason why I'm using CSV is because ArcGIS.com only takes CSVs, they don't take Excels. And so it's going to give you, of course, this warning that certain things like, for example, this highlighted address is not going to show up in CSV, but that's fine with us. Uh, other things like multiple sheets, it's only going to save this one single sheet that we're on, sheet number one. That's all fine with me, so I'm going to OK. And it gives me another warning, and you just say yes, and you're fine. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this. And whenever we go and look at the file, you can see here, here's the CSV, and here's the Excel. Um, CSVs, we can open them up. Um, just look at it quickly. You can open it with uh, uh, just a, like for example notepad plus plus or any kind of text editor and you can see how the differences you have here each uh, line entry and then things separated by comma so for example name address city and you can see here the name of the company comma the address comma the city comma the zip so this is how this is going to be stored into ArcGIS.com. So let's go ahead and go to ArcGIS.com's webpage. So I go here to ArcGIS.com, and um, a lot of times you look on here and you think, oh, I have to pay for things, 30-day free trial. But if you have a personal account, you're going to be able to use most of the features for free. So we're going to click Sign In, and you're going to want to sign in with your uh, ArcGIS uh, user account, which I have one. If you don't have one, make one. Um, so I'll just do mine. And I'm just going to say keep me signed in. So once you sign in, you're going to see here ArcGIS.com, and you have here my content. So for example, if I go to my content, I can see a bunch of maps that I've already made online. Um, ArcGIS.com is really cool; it has a whole bunch of things you can do. But basically, what we want to do is do the geocoding. So if we just say here a new, oh, sorry, that's not what we're going to do. We want to go to map. And this is bringing up an old map that I have, but we want to do a new map. So I'm going to click on new map. I'm going to say yes, open up this map. And then we have here a brand new blank map. So basically this is supposed to be well, WebGIS. And so what we want to do with this, this arc map to do geocoding is we want to add that CSV file into the, into the uh, web page. And then what it's going to do is going to geocode it for us. And then that's going to be something that we can bring later into arc map. So what I want to do is I want to add a, a layer from file that's going to access my computer and you can see here that I can use a tab delimited or a semicolon comma delimited file for up to 1000 features in it or 200 features of geocoding addresses so I can only geocode 250 at a time this is the limitation of the free account and if I go back to my folder you can see that I have um, in my CSV 2001, I have a lot more than 250. 
I have uh, 1,400 addresses. So the way that I would have to do this um, is I have to separate these out by 250 and do them in batches. Um, unless, of course, you have a company that has or a school that has a site license and maybe they pay for the RGIS.com uh, account. So um, in that case, you could probably do more. But in my case, it only took 250. So you see here, I'm going to highlight the first 251 call, uh, rows. And the reason why I'm doing that is because the first row, remember, is our header. It's just the name of the different columns. I'm going to copy this. And then I'm just going to go here and make a new sheet and rename and say 1 through 250. And then I can do the same thing over here, for example. Uh, rename and say uh, 251 through uh, 500 for example so this way I can actually geocode more than one so I'm just going to copy this uh, column names paste them there I go back here and now I take from 251 I scroll down oh, that's 251 sorry 252 I scroll down to 501 and I copy that and that's going to be my records 251 through 500 so forth so I just keep on doing that over and over until I have all my all my records um, I'll spare you from having to see that so I just went ahead and copied and pasted the rest of those in there but then you can see here now I need to say each one is its own CSV so if I go here from 1 to 250 I'm going to want to do file and save as and now save this as its own CSV and I'm going to call it uh, 2001 1 through 250 save okay yes and then you go 251 file save as the same thing but this time 251 through 500 and so forth, so forth. This is just breaking them up into 250, uh, re 250 records uh, files, uh, different CSV, so we can add them all. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to uh, shrink that. So you can see here I have my 1, 250, 500. So if I go back here to here to my uh, archis.com, you can see here I have here 250 with geocoding addresses. I'm fine. I will be able to do my 250 geocoded addresses. So I'm just going to go to my desktop and add the first file. Open. And I say import layer. It's going to give me a wizard. And you see here I have options for longitude, latitude, or addresses. I'm um, geocoding, so I'm going to say addresses. Um, I'm working in the United States. That's right. Um, my name, I want it to be the uh, okay, so you can see here these are the field names and it goes and tries to match them. So zip code here, I want to make that into my zip code, state into state, city, city address into address. We're good. My field name's not used. Um, you can see here there's no option for it. It's not needed. So anyways, I can see here I have my address, city, state, zip code, all matching with different field names. So when I hit add layer, it's going to upload the CSV file to the internet and then amazingly very quickly geocoded and you can see here this is the first 250 records that I have geocoded and um, if I look at them by opening the table show table I can see here that it has the name the address the city the zip code all exactly the same as what I had um, in the Excel spreadsheet so for example if I had other attribute information like for example how many employees work at each place or how much annual income, the uh, annual revenue these companies make, I can have those in there and those will also show up. And so then again I'll have to do the next one um, and repeat again over and over until I get all the files that I want. So import um, and you can see here address city state, zip code, I switch that over to zip code and I hit add layer and you can see again very quickly it adds the next files there and you can see here we have even more dots around the Austin area so now this is all great having this web map with these dots on it but we want to bring this into ArcMap so we can do some analysis to it or so forth or 
make a nicer map. So uh, what you're going to want to do now is download these files that you just created, that you just geocoded into a format that you can bring into ArcMap. So what you want to do is click on it and say save layer. Actually, my mistake, you're not supposed to do save layer. Uh, save layer is if you want to be able to add them to other maps within uh, ArcGIS.com. What we really want to do is we want to download it to ArcMap. So what we want to do is save the map itself. So if you go here to the save and say save as, you can save this map. And so I want to save it as Austin High Tech. You're going to have to put tags, which is I find kind of annoying, but it makes you do it. So I'm going to put Austin and um, Austin High Tech. Why not? Um, and then I'm going to say Save Map. And then that's going to save my map to my content. And so what's cool about this is that now we go to my content. And you'll see here, um, I should have the map that I just saved. And so you can see here at, as an Austin High Tech map. And if I click on it, of course, it will take me here. And I can open it up again on the ArcGIS.com website. But what I can do better is I can say open in ArcGIS for desktop. And that's going to download it as a map package. So you can see here it downloaded. And whenever I click on it, it makes me sign into my ArcMap on uh, my ArcGIS.com account in ArcMap. And then when it launches up ArcMap, it will actually download this web map. Um, and then you can see here now that it's opening up. It's going to download those files that I saved. And you can see here 1 through 250. And what I can do with that is I can say export data. And I can save it as its own uh, shape file. So I'll go to geocoding and I'll save here as a shape file. And then now I'm going to have a GIS file that I can use just like any other GIS file. Yes, and then now I have my file. Uh, an alternative way that you can do this also is that if you go into your arc map and you say file uh, open, I'm oh, sorry, file ArcGIS online. It will bring up your ArcGIS.com account within ArcMap, and then you can access your own content. So I can say here, um, I want to go to my maps and my data, and then you can see here, Austin High Tech. This is a map that I just made. And so I can hit open, and it's going to open up directly within my ArcGIS uh, desktop. And then I can do, of course, all the different analytical tools that you need in ArcGIS desktop. Uh, one thing that's bothering me though is this 1 to 250 here is only showing up. I think that might be because we do actually have to do at least one save layer. Let's see what happens here. Let's go back into the web viewer. And then I have my 1 to 250 and then my 250. Yeah, so you see I did save layer on this 250 one. And I think that that might have messed it up. Let's remove it. Let me just add from a file choose file uh, 250 to 500 open import and let's go back to the zip code I guess it's good you can see it quickly again now it's done so it's brought in let's make sure that this imported incorrectly show table yes yeah, so we do have here you see a dot that's good let's save it it's saving my map. Okay, and then let's go back to my ArcGIS. 
And then again, what you want to do once you're in ArcGIS is make sure you're signed in. I'm signed in. Then go to my ArcGIS online account. It's bringing it up, my maps. And let's open this up and see if we get both of them. Yes, there we go. So now we have the chair 50 to 251 through 500. So this is all good. So this is how you do it. This is how you geocode with uh, ArcGIS.com. Um, then you bring it afterwards into um, ArcGIS Desktop. Once you have it in Desktop, of course, you can do all the things like export data to make it into shape files. Um, then you all, and then of course you have at your disposal all the different tools available. Um, as you also see. The full attribute table comes in from what we originally had in our Excel. Um, so if we had different information here, it would also show up in our ArcGIS desktop. So basically, this is how you geocode in ArcGIS. Uh, now, this is how you do it with uh, ArcGIS.com, and then you bring it afterwards into ArcGIS desktop.